Good morning, everyone, or good day. I'm doing a little tour of my fall garden with September. And I want to show you what's still here. Still, all the peppers are here. Tons and tons and tons of peppers. Pepper trees. See, I have them in this here and I keep them close because I get them to grow, to fight, you know, to grow, push above each other. You know, like tall trees, each tree want to go up to the top to get the sun. So I kind of clump them together if you ever wondered why I did that. To let them, once they, you know, once they get big size, I do that because they grow taller. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Um, this is my hand here. It's taller. This is Kalalu. This is that, those big leaf Jamaican Kalalu. Look at that. Big. I've never had one this big. I've had Kalalu and they're big. But this one, I, I didn't cut it. I always cut them from the small. But this time I'll let it down. Look over here. I put some in this thing here. I started them in here. And then I transferred some here. And I've been cut. This I cut three times off of these already. Three times I cut them. And they, they're springing back every time. And see they're putting on. Um, yeah, I've used a lot of it. So this is, um, they're like elephant ears color. They're big. All right. Let's get back to the peppers. So, peppers laden on the tree. There's a lot of peppers on the trees. Lots of peppers. You now I have this mesh. Can you see it? It's this mesh that I bought on Amazon and put them around the peppers because I wouldn't have any if I had left it up to the deers. So, I have, I've, now I have bird pepper. I have bird pepper. I've got cayenne pepper. And I also have chocolate pepper that's just coming up after a few of them peppers but i bought a new greenhouse and again this is like the third greenhouse or fourth and i'm gonna put it up it's very windy back in, in the backyard here so it's hard to maintain a greenhouse let me see if i can pick some of these peppers the thing is preventing me i'm picking them so there you go Hot nice peppers now you're always supposed to pick off your peppers so they could bear more. The more you pick, the more they bear. And I've been doing that, but man, I have a lot of peppers. I've been selling some peppers. If you want pepper, you can go to my Etsy store. You don't find the Scotch bunny peppers. I keep saying peppers. The Scotch bunny peppers. Jamaican Scotch bunny. And there's some trees that's just coming up. Look at this one. I think you have one ripe one. But this just, there's a few of them that I found that was just coming up. It's a bit more color. <laughs> this is cold peas just coming up but look at the peppers and look here another another um gungu just starting to blossom <laughs> you know gungu tend to blossom in the fall but the six month gungu really blossomed the old uh, from june and i have had that one but now this one is just putting on blossoms don't know how long it will survive don't know if i'll get some some peas out of it but i want to show you this um it's a very small look at it it's very small um uh, we call it sweet pepper but you know it's um what they call it i forget the name anyway um there's a lot of them and i had some big ones inside still so my cut up it's still bearing down here look look at that look at that still bearing but some of them are big but the tree had done so much i had to pick out some of them early because it's a little tree and it was weighing it down i said there's still more and there's blossoms yeah well, I've picked quite a bit of of um of this uh, these um okra. First time I plant okra this year. I didn't go crazy. Here's another colorless spring up over here. Sometimes they just find themselves at a spot, and this is another big one. Look at it. Yeah, they just find themselves at a spot, and they grow there once they feel good. <laughs> Here's more color to go. Color always everywhere, and more peppers. Lots of peppers on the tree. I'm gonna do a picking. But I'm shipping some to New York on Monday and whoever else order and I'm gonna um pick these here's here's the old um I cut out a part of it but this is the old uh, gungo tree I, I, I pick out the top see I break out the top but it's springing look at that this is what would normally happen when you kind of get old see the older part and the new spring when they get old I mean Jamaica they get old, older part drop leaf drop off and the spring come up and bear new ones but I don't think this one is going to survive the winter. Still have tomatoes. Look, I got a lot of tomatoes this year. Thank God, a couple of years ago I planted tomatoes and one day I came out, all of them were blighted and falling over with lots of big tomatoes on them. What do they call it? 
forgot to call it they said something bite it and once you bite it the whole tree done okay, this is a this is a chocolate pepper it's just coming up uh, just putting on peppers oops just putting on peppers yeah Yes, and there's about four or five of them. So because I didn't want to mix the chocolate and the scotch bonnet this year. So I planted the chocolate after the scotch bonnet, long after. And oh, oh they get lost. Here's more scotch bonnet just coming up. Look at this. There's a young scotch bonnet tree just pushing out and it's full of blossoms. Yeah. And these is another young scotch bonnet tree. Here it is. And this is a cayenne. I have about three or four cayenne pepper. Pepper tree. I have a lot down. I hung up some of them over there, I'll show you. But um, that's it. that's the little garden for now. I have a lot of things around. Pumpkin, quite a few. I'll show you them. And um, you gotta watch everything. I've been taking things down. Look at this. <laughs> this I bought yam and I cut it to eat and, and cook it and the top had a bump so I cut off a piece of it and I drop it in a, um, the recycle you know the, the worm bin and there look I see this I went out there to look in the worm bin and this is growing look at that growing so I put it in this little pot here I know it's not gonna survive because this happened to me before I had um I had a piece of yam that was growing and I put it down I put it in the, the greenhouse but it, it's still too cold because I didn't have any heat in the greenhouse I'm hoping and I've been looking for um solar heat for the greenhouse. Any of you have any idea? I cannot find it on Amazon. And I thought by now they would have solar, you know, little solar. <laughs> Maybe I'm expecting too much. But I thought they would have solar heat that you could put up in your greenhouse, you know. Anyway, let's go over here. So as I say, I've been getting rid of stuff. This uh, container had pumpkins. But I um got rid of it, used up the soil. And this was in it. The, the um, marigold. Well, I'm gonna cut these flowers off and dispose of these. I have to try and get rid of some of this stuff around the yard. There's more marigold growing here. There's different color marigold, as I told you. I have several color marigold. I have one this year that's almost white. This one is a light yellow. It's a bright orange. And look, look, that's a, like a medium yellow. So, that's that. This one is almost white. Every time I, I pick some, but this is like a white. I never remember having white, so I don't know how that came about. But um, I'm not gonna cut this down yet. I'm gonna leave it there and let it um. This is in the front yard. We have a big yard. We have like an acre of land, I'm told. So we have lots of land, but. Your grass, who want grass? People want food feet. You know, they want things. It left to me alone. I had to build up this whole place, put a couple of greenhouse and the rest of it and farm it. But it's not up to me. More marigold, lots of marigold. And I have seed, I have marigold seed for sale. But these are a little different, so I'm gonna put these up. They're not up yet. On Etsy. On my Etsy store. Jamaican Garden. That's the name of my Etsy store. Don't make a mistake when you go there. Of course, this is zucchini. <laughs> I had a few zucchini earlier this year. And this one is bearing. I think I saw one on it earlier. Oh, it, 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 it dropped off. Maybe it wasn't pollinated. But this is the only tree. So no pollination there. Morning glory. Look at that. That looks like there's sun shining inside of it, don't it? <laughs> and it's overcast, so there's no sun. But that's how it looks. Like sun is shining down inside of the morning glory. This is a purple morning glory, and I've had a lot of it around the yard. But they're getting old, and I've been tearing them down. There's, there's some more up here, find themselves up here. That's one thing. They can climb. See? Yes, look at that. Morning glory. Look right down into the center. Somebody could do a drawing like this. I can see somebody doing a drawing. Lighter in the middle, pink around, and then dark purple on the outside really pretty could you know i i i had another color but somehow this year i only ended up with the purple so i have elephant ears bought them at lowe's just bought the um oh here's one of those um kind of almost white um marigold yeah i bought these um at lowe's one day in this maybe april may june and um no i have a whole lot of them don't know what to do with them 
whole lot of um, elephant, more elephant ears. <laughs> but the man dropped them in this bucket because you know they grow by the water in Jamaica, these, these kind of things. And I dropped them in this bucket, gave away a couple of them. And they just grow in there, all of these put water in it. All I have in here is water. And they just grow in. So, here's one of the pumpkin things are eating my pumpkin. They've been eating, eating up my pumpkin, so I've been covering them. See? Look at this one. I've been hiding them from the people, the animals that's eating them. It's a big size pumpkin. Big size. It's not big, but it's medium. You know, it came out last, last two weeks, I think, I would say. But I'm going to cover it back. Here's the next one growing around the yard. So I took off the cover so you could see it. Just like the previous one, this one is also around the house, nearby the house. So we'll see how it grows, you know. Let's go look at some other stuff. So I want to show you how this, um, the church and some beans that I have planted over here start climbing on this, um, it's a cable car that was hanging from the ceiling and it was annoying us when it flopped against the house. So one day I come out here and I realize all the chocho and the bean climbing up on the thing. And I was watching it and I did a couple of shots on it. It went all the way up. Now it's up to the roof and it's, you know, climbing. It seemed like it's climbing along the, um, the drain up there. But look, I did a closer zoom and realized chocho is up there. I identified about four of them so far. Look at them. And this one here is a 21. Look at it. It's two together. You know, we call them 20. <laughs> and they look fit enough, you know. I mean, they can't eat now. They fit. But I'm going to leave those to grow maybe for next year. Here's another one. And I see another one somewhere up there. I think there's about four of them up there. And maybe, and there's blossoms. What the chocho and the, and the um, bean is blossoming. This bean is what they call a Christmas bean. It's a very pretty... A decorative bean with pretty spots so I'm looking forward to getting that to plant next year but the thing is all the way up the top look there big nice fat chocho hanging down and I didn't realize it until I'm doing this video so that's a nice surprise So I'm over in the corner here. This is way in the back of the house. I'm over in the corner in the bushes. See? Look. It's a forest over there. Over here, I can let them run. Not like those around the yard. We have to curve them all the time. So it's been out here. I pick one pumpkin out here already. But there's something eating up the pumpkins. Huh? Of course, you know, they're drying down now. They're getting to the season where it's going to get cold. So... So one thing I hate, I hate to think when the fall comes when I plant my stuff, everything gonna dry up. Can't stand that. I wanna go to Florida. I wanna go to Florida. Yeah, so anyway. So here's one pumpkin. We're um something decided to eat it up. Look at it. Something's been eating it and it's an animal because when I came out here one morning, oh them, I don't know what them so them also look like they might eat it. So I forgot to go pick this pumpkin. Yeah, so no, no, I don't think it's ready yet. I'm going to leave it for a little longer. But uh, something eat it up bad, man. One day I came out here and found it like this little pumpkin, pretty little thing. And I didn't pollinate it, the bees did. But I was watching it and taking pictures, you know, seeing how it go. Anyway. Here's another one. This is a nice one too. So, you know what that thing said. I guess it's some bug that eat um, mm, it's looking good. Maybe it's some ripe. Maybe it's some fit. Anyway, the leaf. I didn't leave it. I don't see the leaf. Oh, the leaf over here. They say when the leaf dry down, the pumpkin ready. But this leaf not dry yet. But because I'm covering it, kind of look with it, but it's not dry yet, so I'm gonna leave it. So this is what it looked like before. Um, when I discovered it, I didn't pollinate it. The bees did it for me. Let's go back to our program now. I was wondering why this pumpkin wasn't growing. And I just realized that it's divine rotten, divine 
Go on. Hussein. Oh, I might as well pick it up. I don't know if it fit or anything. I'm gonna put it down for a while. Because I'm rotten. Oh. So this is the first pumpkin I picked. The thing look overripe. You know, and I, I picked it, everything was drying down around it, but so I, you know, I still have a piece in the fridge. Now I'm planting garlic and onion. So I'll see how that goes. I planted onion last year and it that didn't come that well. So I'm planting elephant garlic this time. So because it's big, so I wanna try that. And um so you know you can um you can try those yourself. It's a whole bag of different color um skeleton uh, onion. I think it has three colors. So I planted them in this container for now. So you know they have to be planted late. But you guys I wanted to um if you didn't know I have a um Etsy store where I sell all my um pepper stuff, scotch bonnet sauce, scotch bonnet pepper powder, um the seeds and uh, chocolate seeds um what else I have there i have lots of other seeds this year i have copies and and other things so i'm gonna put a link below and you guys please support me it's right now um until i i i can um i'm selling some peppers i keep getting orders every day for fresh peppers um but um i won't be shipping out until monday tuesday wednesday is when i ship not shipping for the rest of the week so if you order you're not gonna get it shipped out until next week but i've been collecting seeds from everything this is the time of year you collect your seeds so if you've not been collect your seeds so let me know what seeds you're collecting these are um marigold of different colors multicolored marigold cold peas oh, everything that i grow it's out there i have black cold peas and i have red cow peas brown slash red cow peas i'm drying peppers see this is the um peppers drying yes i've been drying them in the dehydrator anyway yeah so i'm drying and th these are um cayenne pepper i'm also drying those so um uh, also uh got quite a few okra drying those drying the um the um hibiscus seeds and this hibiscus is cold hardy you know you can plant it anywhere up to what i think if it can go up to like 20 degrees or, or less if you if you're cold up to 20 degrees and i have a lot of um uh morning glory these are pretty this is actually a two color morning glory this has a light uh, um lavender and the dark dark um purplish Sunflowers got quite a bit of that this year. So I'm gonna do a seed giveaway um in a couple of days. You can look out for that. I thank you guys for watching my channel and bearing with me to my boring videos. <laughs> Hopefully you find something exciting about some parts of it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a seed giveaway and I'm going to do a video on that so, it, so you can look out for it. Enjoy your rest of your week. Thank you.